What's up guys, this is Acid Root, so we're going to play some spades. This is a game of my past, throughout the past 10 some odd plus years I've played this game. I especially played it back in 2013 and 2014, but then I think probably the last time I kind of messed with this was back in like the summer of 2016 and 2017. Because I remember playing the celebrity version and I knew that Trump could be your partner and Hillary was also there. So that's kind of the thing. It's it's an older game just because Trump and Hillary were from the 2016 election. But there's actually some extra characters that you can get. And Beyonce is one of them. Jay-Z is another. And then the only other character I'm aware of is Taylor Swift. But I don't know if there's a third male that you can be. But I think there's at least those five. But it hasn't been updated since at least the past four years but it's, I, I still like it as a game i figure this would be more interesting than just having like a robot as a partner or not even having a, a partner as a name the same player a or player b or whatever so and uh, that's why i chose that so but uh so yeah the, the basic concept of spades is that you want to get to like 500 or so points I think that's what you have to get to to win, but you have to select how many tricks you think you can win, which is how many cards that you think that will have the strongest card in the hand. And so Beyonce thought she could win five times, Hillary thought she could win one, and I'm doing this in segments, that's why I don't know what Trump and my hands are right now, but, uh, so yeah. Basically, the, if you get hands and you get them, you get the points, but you have to be spot on because you'll wind up losing if you don't. If you say you can get 80 points or 8 tricks and you only get 7, you lose 80 points. So you have to get exactly the amount that you say that you're going to get. And if you get more, if you say you can get 8 tricks and you get 9, you'll get something called a bag. And if you get 10 pet. 10 bags they'll subtract 100 points so this is kind of it's it's very intense kind of thing i've always liked this game especially just because i like cooperative games but that's kind of the process i'm fairly good at two verse two i prefer larger teams but this is still considering how old the game of spades probably is this is still like a decent um, and above average game to play especially considering that you don't need a television you don't need uh all you need is a deck of cards huh. that's kind of the thing so but yeah uh, it's kind of the way it goes i mean I, I i have techniques that i use for these sorts of things but you'll see how beyonce and hillary do what they typically do, though, is they wind up picking low tricks, so they kind of force us to get bags, and that kind of starts to piss me off. And then Trump, you know, he winds up picking a lot of tricks, and he falls for it, and then that winds up subtracting from our score. So that's kind of how this goes as we get through this. It's going to be a three-part saga here, and you'll see what happens as we take on Beyonce and Hillary. But they, they play this a little bit more shrewd. I was kind of like, what the hell? But I, you know, sometimes I'll bet more tricks because that's how you get more points, but you have to do it. This is simpler to get bags than tricks. I mean, you can obviously try, but it just depends upon your technique. I mean, sometimes the other team will try to sabotage you so you'll lose all those points. If you say you're going to get nine and you only get eight, they might try to stop you from getting that last point so you'll lose 90 points. <laughs> I mean, it's not every team that'll try to do that, but it, just depending upon who it is, especially if the scores are higher, you might have to deal with something like that. But uh, this has been a game of my past. I figured it made sense that it showed up on this channel and such. So at some point it was going to, just for me to kind of mess around with that, but... Uh, this is kind of the nature. I almost would like to play this in like two-player mode and have Cobalt with me, but it, this would be kind of funny to actually do that. I don't know. If, I think probably somewhere on the internet you can play with two desktop computers or something like that, but I wouldn't want to go to the trouble of doing it. I mean, I, I could, but you know, it, 
you know, just to see how Cobalt actually plays. It's not too much different from the computer, so. But I would like to play, like, Blackjack. That's definitely something I do own the video game Vegas Stakes, and that has a bunch of gambling games in there also. That I've thought about doing, but it's such an obscure Super Nintendo game that it's difficult for it to actually secure the views. It's not common that people look up Vegas Stakes, and it's like a 27, 28-year-old game by now. So, But I am like a miniature gambler. I do like things like Las Vegas and casinos. I just, uh, I would only bet so much. But it's, it, it, it is serious when people say, like, it's an addictive thing. Like, I was trying to, you can't bring cameras into casinos because people don't want you to, know they have gambling problems so you know obviously because i do vlogs it's like i wanted to show like the casino but you can't do it <laughs> kind of a pain in the ass you know there's not even casinos in missouri hardly so that's a double thing we're just lottery people we prefer you buy lottery tickets just kind of chump change compared to casinos i'd probably have at least 15 bucks in 15 bucks a month extra income if I went, if there were casinos around these parts, that's the thing. Just a little bit to the southwest of us, Oklahoma has all the casinos you could want, but you know we're obviously not that close to them. But Hillary's trying to do like a a, a a super move. She's trying to have zero tricks, which means if she never l wins a hand when she does this, she'll get like a hundred or two hundred points which they actually execute, and it kind of pissed me off because I was trying to get them to actually do something, but it's kind of happened to be the thing. I mean, that would have probably given us the lead if Hillary had fucked that part up, but huh, I tried. So she, she wasn't joking when she said her hand sucked, and Beyonce just kind of went for the assist. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, and obviously if you say you want zero tricks and you get one, that'll really mess you up. So you definitely, <laughs> you want to be damn, goddamn adamant that you don't. Uh, get any tricks if you say that you're not going to because that, that'll basically I think for most people that would take you out of the lead so I think this is the last hand in this video I'm trying to remember this is going to kind of end suddenly you're just going to have to I'll try to keep some of that tangent with it but just understand that uh We shall see. <sighs> yeah, just some creative stuff. This is what happens when my dazzle breaks. I mean, as far as that's concerned. Kind of the way shit goes. <laughs> 